Hello, it's Tom Siles, and this is Tom's Radio Rome Show number 410. And what I have here over here, I have my Sony ICF SW 7600GR shortwave radio. And over here, we have my Sanjian ATX 909A shortwave radio. And I had a couple of people asked me to compare these two radios and make a suggestion which one they should get. Well, I'm not going to make a suggestion which one they get, but hopefully I'll provide enough information they can make the decision because it's really up to the end user what he wants. So the first thing we're going to do is get rid of Mr. Finger, get him out of the way. Okay. Now, because you can see the Sanjian radio is slightly larger. Um, the speaker is actually smaller than the Sony speaker. The display is much larger, so it's a trade-off on this radio of having a bigger display and a smaller speaker versus a bigger speaker. And it's much, much smaller display. So that's kind of the trade-off right there off the bat. Um, they both have... Uh, telescopic antennas, they both have connections for external uh, antennas. Um, let's just kind of look at the options here on the side. This one does come with this little strap. And we've got external antenna, the um, ATF, I mean the attenuation on and off, and then this is like an RF gain knob, dial, whatever I call it. And then here's a line out to go to your computer or recorder, headphones jack, and power jack. Over here, the top is the ant extra antenna, auxiliary in, auxiliary in, so you can use this as a amplifier speaker. And then um, two controls for recording a switch to turn the old style cassette recorders on and off in the line out, headphones and power, and then here is the RF gain control. So kind of the same there, basically the same controls. Go on this side, and a very similar again, starting at the top here, we have the single sideband um, tuning dial right there. We have the mode selection uh, single sideband and then upper and lower sideband and then uh, normal and uh, down here we have tone control music and news and then here's the volume on this one we have um, to set the uh, time a for, you. for um, automatic timer control and not the tone control and the um, band selection, narrow or wide. And then the, this is the tuning knob here. I mean, excuse me, volume knob here. Now, there's where um, a big difference is, and both of these radios are different than your conventional radios, and that is in tuning. The Sony uses these buttons to digitally tune. Now, you can also tune by using the keypad, and using memory. The Sanjian uses this wheel to tune. Now, I prefer the wheel over these buttons. That's just my preference. It also has the touchpad for um, direct tuning to a frequency. And, uh, and it also has a single sideband mode. Okay. Uh, other things is uh, frequency range of uh, the Sony is 150 kilohertz to 30 megahertz. So it goes down to long wave, AM band, FM band, HF band. The Sajin also goes down to the long wave band. It goes down to 100 kilohertz to 30 megahertz. So basically the same band. Um, as I recall, Neither one of them have an air band. So 
that to me, I, I really don't even want an air band in a shortwave radio. That's really, uh, you need a scanner radio for listening to the air bands. Now, what else? Um, they both have FM stereo outputs on the head jacks. Of course, it's mono because there's only one speaker in both of them. As I said, this is the larger speaker compared to the Sanjian. The, uh, the single sideband tuning steps, uh, in this case it's 1 kilohertz, in this case uh, the Sanjian is 40 hertz. The, um, as I said, the Sony is slightly larger than a Sanjian. Um, the Sony has the synchronous detector circuit. Matter of fact, as far as I know, Sony was the originator of that circuit. And you can look at my, one of my other videos about synchronous detection or look it up on the internet. And it's used when you're trying to tune the HF bands and to sync onto a broadcast. I just That's all I'm going to say right now. You can look that up yourself. Now, I did reception testing, and I've used these two radios a lot. Um, the Sony is okay. It's it's okay. The sound quality for when it's receiving, I believe the Sanjian is much better, uh, either um, HF shortwave or FM or AM. The the Sanjian sounds it sounds really really good. The Sony, yeah, it's okay. It's okay. Nothing wrong with it. It's just okay. The um, the Sanjian has two intermediate frequencies uh, for tuning, so it makes tuning more uh, easier. It makes tuning easier when you're trying to tune in that one station that's kind of down there in the mud among other stations. The Sony uh, uh, does not only has one IF stage, so the Sanjian beats the Sony on as far as stages. And um, the Sanjian, that's this is one thing that the Sanjian suffers from, is when you're trying to listen to shortwave using its internal antenna, it's not real sensitive. You plug in an external antenna and it just comes alive. So it definitely beats, or it definitely loses to the Sony when it comes to standalone shortwave listening as far as sensitivity. The Sony is very, very sensitive using its internal antenna. Now, I don't, as I mentioned before, I, um, I don't listen to FM radio that much. But if you're, you're into FM radio, the Sanjian does have the RDS function so that it can display data coming from the FM stations, data about the station's name, the artist of the song that's playing, what the name of the song is, that kind of information can be displayed on the Sanjian. Sony does not have that capability. So that's a big difference between the two radios. And when I get to the price, you can see that's, that's why it's cost a little more. Now I... Um, I was trying to think of something else that I was going to mention. Um, oh yeah, the the Sanjian has the ATS function, the automatic tune and storage function, where you can have it scan, go in this ATS mode, scan the frequencies, and as it finds a strong signal, it will store it in some temporary memory locations, and you can go back and check those what it found. Sometimes it's just noise, but other times it's stations. Kind of a good way to just turn on your radio and find some 
some traffic on the bands. Now both of them have these keypads and a number of keys for each of the functions and the, the keypad I, for me feels much better as far as feedback, tactile feedback than on the Sanjian than the Sony. Plus um, the keys, all the keys are large keys where some of the keys on the Sony are much smaller. And they're all easy to read on the Sanjian. The Sony does have uh, double and triple function keys and some of the identification is in red which makes it a little harder to read. I don't know if that even shows up on my webcam. So I prefer the keys and the writing on the Sanjian. So I, I would say in general, um, I think the Sanjian has a little bit more going for it as far as features. But one thing that the Sony stands out on is um, reception using its internal antenna. It does a much better job than the Sanjian. But uh, if you're more interested in the features and you're going to use a uh, external antenna, then the Sanjian is the way to go. Now, as far as prices, right now I just checked on Amazon and this Sony, uh, the SW7600GR, is selling for $131. And, in contrast, the Sanjian right now is selling, the ATX909A, is selling for $219. Quite a difference in price, a lot of extra features including the RDS function. I got mine. These the, the one thing about Amazon is they have price markdowns all the time. So if you're interested in a radio but you you don't have to have it today, you can go and watch that radio and check the prices. And I caught this radio when it was on sale for $189. So considerably cheaper than the present cost of $219. And the prices go up and down, up and down. So there you go. You know, uh, you're going to have to make your ch the choice between the Sony with the better reception capability on its own antenna and the Sanjian with all the uh, additional features plus I love this display on the Sanjian. Big, it's got a kind of a, a bluish background. It really looks nice. If you go and look at my review of the Sanjian, uh, you will see the display in action. The lighting I got right now wouldn't show it off at all. So and that's one thing you can go. I've reviewed both of these videos. You can go back to some of my old shows and see a detailed review and going through all the features and functions in more depth for both of these radios. So that's the show for today. Thanks you for watching. If you enjoyed the show, please give me a thumbs up. Gives me an idea if I'm doing a good job. And if you want to, you can give me a thumbs down to say this was a waste of your time. Yeah, don't do that, please. But do it if you want to. It won't hurt my feelings. I'll just be a little bit crushed. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.